Hi, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to learn how to change radians to degrees in a unit circle. So I've got a unit circle with just the first quadrant laid out for you. Okay, let's talk about the radians. The radians, this first point, is going to be pi sixth, which is also 30 degrees. The second step up here is going to be pi fourths, which is equal to 45 degrees. And the third step is pi thirds, which is equal to 60 degrees. Now, those are equivalent to each other. Well, now let's talk about how to switch from one to the other. If you're given the angle measure in radians, how do you switch it to degrees? Well, we're going to take the radian measure and multiply it by pi or 180 over pi. That is the number 1 just in a form. Notice that 180 and pi are equal to each other. We're just converting from radians or from yeah, radians to degrees. So, let's start off with our pi 6 or our 30 degree angle. We already know that it's going to be 30, but let me show you how this works. We're going to take our radian measure and write it as pi over 6. We're going to multiply it by 1. 1 is in the form of 180 over pi. Now when we do this, what's going to happen is our pi's are going to cancel out. So if you can't remember this, remember if you have pi on top, you want pi on the bottom to make it cancel out. Then I'm left with 180 over 6, which if you divide 180 divided by 6 is 30 degrees. So there's an example of how you would actually calculate it. So you take your radian measure and you multiply it by 180 over pi to switch from one to the other. So here's a quick little summary page and one more example. Radians to degrees, you take the radian measure times 180 over pi and that gives you your answer in degrees. And here is a second example, 5 pi over 6 times 180 over pi. Notice the pi's cancel. We reduced and we end up with 5 times 30, which is equal to 150 degrees. You can also use your unit circle to find to locate that 5, 6 pi, and that is where 150 degrees would be. Hope this video was helpful.